Hello guys, so welcome. So today we're going to have a discussion on your amylase and lipase. So class, um, pag amylase and lipase, the key organ here or the key sig clinical significance is acute pancreatitis. Yan. So it's interesting for amylase and lipase. So let's talk about it more in this discussion. So first is your amylase. So its name, guys, is alpha-1 for glucan glucohydrolase. Yeah. So class, ang ganda nung name niya kasi eksakto. So yung alpha-1-4 class, it represents the glycosidic bonds that it breaks down. Yeah. And it, it represents the glycosidic bonds that it breaks down. Guys, the substances which usually have glucose, alpha which has alpha-1-4 glycosidic bonds, are named amylose. Yan, amylose. Therefore, yung nagbe-break down ng amylose class are amylases. Yan. So, class, ano ba ang may amylose usually? So, we have starch. Ano ba yan? Nag-overheat na yung ano ko. Um, ring like starch. Um, we have your glycogen. Yan. And eventually, class, its product are glucose, maltose, and dextrin. Yeah. So, class, your amylase is distributed in the pancreas and your salivary glands. Yeah. So, the assigner cells of pancreas and salivary glands. So, class, your amylase can be very nonspecific for acute pancreatitis because if a person has lesions, have diseases or conditions in their salivary glands, Pwede, pwedeng tumaas rin yung amylase. Yeah. So, class, your amylase is actually low on its molecular weight. Yan, maliit lang siya. And normally, class, it is normally filtered in your urine. Therefore, class, your amylase should be present in your urine. But, class, in, in some cases wherein your amylase binds to a immunoglobulin or an antibody or your, if there is a kidney failure, pwedeng bumababa ang amylase sa urine natin. Kaya in your notes, you have your amylase creatinine ratio. Yan. So, they are checking the clearance of amylase and creatinine by your kidney. Next class. So, hindi ko kasi alam ilalagay ito. So, usually class, salivary amylase. And if you want to destroy it or if you want to only count your pancreatic amylase, one way of removing it or inhibiting it is by adding wheat germ lectin. With wheat germ lectin. And class, and class, finally, your activator is calcium. So class, we have to be careful in our choice of anticoagulants when processing amylases. So definitely, we should avoid using anticoagulants, guys, which binds your calcium. So ano nga ba yung mga yun? Hindi ba? ADTA at saka citrate. Therefore, guys, we shouldn't be using lavender top, yan black, or blue top for your amylases. Yan. Kasi, Ma'am, di ba, mga enzymes naman, usually serum naman talaga. But class, you know, sometimes in emergency situations, yung, ang mga ibig, ang bibigay lang sa yung tube EDTA, ganyan. So class, you have to, to just put it in mind. So class, for the clinical significance. So, amylase is an acute pancreatitis marker. Yan. So class, acute pancreatitis in a nutshell, in a nutshell, class. So um, this happens, so your pancreas um, starts to be inflamed and hemorrhaging because there is autodigestion that, it, that is happening. So class, your pancreatitis, um, your pancreas class is amazing. Yan. It has two main functions class it's either an endocrine organ it's either it's both an endocrine organ so it produces hormones and it's also an exocrine organ which produces enzymes yeah so class apparently when there's acute pancreatitis there is a breach on the protection of these enzymes so these enzymes are preliminarily activated. So, usually, class, zymogen lang sila. Inactive lang sila dapat na nasa pancreas. But due to this breach of protection, class, your enzymes becomes pre preliminarily activated now, which results to autodigestion of your 
pancreas. Ganyan. So, class, um, if you have joined our Google Meet, I told them that um, in the Philippines, sabi ng teacher namin ng college that bangungot daw, bangungot is usually a cause of your acute pancreatitis. Sudden death, yan, from sleeping, um, bangungot, ganon. Usually, sometimes the the reason is acute pancreatitis. Ganyan. So, I was searching class, what are the causes of acute pancreatitis? We're in your pancreas suddenly digesting itself. Ganyan. Sabi nila class, gallstones and alcoholism. Ganyan. But that's not al always the case. That's not always the case. So, class, according to McPherson and Pincus, ganyan, 22nd edition, so, class, the rise is as early as 2 to 12 hours, yan, and peak to 20 to 30 hours and normalize within 3 to 5 days, yan. Class, I saw your module, yan, for the lecture. Iba yung kay Henry, yan, actually Henry McPherson. Pareho lang yan, pero iba yung kay Henry, yan, sa 22nd edition. So, class, um, just like what I said a while ago, so, in renal failure, so there is increased amylase in blood levels but decreased amylase in the urine since the kidney has the inability or failed to filter, filter out your amylase. So, class, sabi sa inyo, amylase is very nonspecific because it also can increase in cases of parotitis. Yan. When we say parotitis, guys, it's the inflammation of parotid glands. Yan. Inflammation of the parotid glands. One of your salivary, gland, um, salivary glands, class. Um, class, your mom's is a type of parotitis. So your mom's class has, um, pag mom's class, in, in, meron ng inflammation sa parotid gland caused by your paramyxovirus, yan, paramyxovirus. But class, other viral infection um, also produces parotitis. Example is your Epstein-Barr virus in cases of kissing diseases. Yeah, you know, kissing disease, class, totoo. So that disease came from kissing. What else, class? Intra-abdominal diseases perforated peptic ulcer, intestinal obstruction, cholecystitis, ruptured ectopic pregnancy, mesenteric infarction, and acute appendicitis. Yeah. So, class, ang raming ano, case na tumatas ang amylase. That's why we need lipase. So, class, we have this term, macroamylacemia. Macroamylacemia. Yeah. So, class, this is a type of asymptomatic hyperamylacemia. According to your notes, class, it does not have clinical significance. Again, according to Henry, it is a benign condition. It's a benign condition. Wherein, class, the person goes to the hospital at pag, pag chanak yung amylase levels nila, class, mataas. Mataas yung amylase nila levels sa blood. However, their urine amylases is low or normal. Ayan. So, class, the reason for this one is your amylase tends to bind with the immunoglobulins. Ayan. According to your lecture, IgA and IgG. Ayan. So, your amylase becomes too large, so it increases the molecular weight, which the which results to inability of the kidney to filter it out kasi lumaki nga siya. So, it results to low renal clearance of AMS. Now, class, so hindi ma-clear out ng kidney natin. Hence, nagiging hyperamylacemia. So, class, um, this can be a quandary. Yan, a, a, parang sabi natin, a question from the doctor kasi Ma-weirdan siya, ang taas ng amylase, wala namang acute pancreatitis. Ayan. So, one cause can be macroamylacemia. Ayan. So, they have to rule macroamylacemia out. Okay. So, class, for your amylases, we have actually six isoenzymes. So, we have two main types Ayan. for your Salivary amylase and pancreatic amylase. So, your am pancreatic amylase from your assigner cell, the other name is amylopsin. Yan. So, your salivary amylase, ang ibang pangalan niya is thialin. Take, take note of the spelling lang, ha, class? 
So class, yung iso enzymes na natin, anim. So under salivary amylase, so we have S1, 2, and 3. And class, your thiolins are usually fastest towards the anode. Class, your amylopsins, your P1, your P2, and P3. Class, it migrates slowest to the anodes. Yan. So, ano lang sila, second honor. <laughs> so, they are near the cathode. Yan. So, class, the most commonly observed fractions. Yan. So, the most, um, high, the ones with the highest concentration in the circulation is P2, S1, and S2. Yan. And class, P3 is predominant in cases of acute pancreatitis. So, class, um, in, in our test, yan, sometimes they utilize somogi units, especially for amylases. Yan. So, it measures the amylase activity in your blood. Class 1 somogi unit means, yan, ang precise nito, as the number of milligrams of glucose released in 30 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Ang galing. Class. So, isn't it that your um, your starches or your glycogen, when it's acted upon by your amylase, ang product, glucose, maltose, and dextrin. So, class, every time na ayun, uh, um, the, um, the activity of the amylase class is measured by the number of milligrams of glucose which is produced. So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng one somogi unit. So, class, um, the reference range is 60 to 180 somogi units. Yan. So, class, meron ako dito itong AMS amylase in serum is 25 to 130 international units. Urine, 1 to 15 international units. Ito naman, class, galing Bishop. Itong reference na nito, ito, class, galing um, Rodriguez. And according to Bishop again, the conversion factor between Somogi and international units is 1.85. So, class methodologies for amylase. Yeah. So, we have the saccharogenic. So, it measures the appearance of reducing sugar. So, in your... Um, in your um, so, wag units yan. Since ang naproproduce si reducing sugar, so you can use sumogi units in saccharogenic method. So, it's the classic reference method. We ha also have ameloclastic. Yan, ameloclastic. Plus, if you watch my other video, di ba, may, meron tayong term na osteoclast. Yan, wherein it breaks down the the bone for bone resorption. So, nagamit na naman ito, clastic. Yan. So, breakdown or disappearance or decrease in starch substrate concentration. So, class, amyloclastic is me measures the amylase activity by the disappearance of starch as a substrate. So, saccharogen saccharogenic is the appearance of the products. Amyloclastic is the disappearance of the substrate. Clastic breakdown. Yan. So, your amylase hydrolyzes the starch into smaller units. The iodine is released and a decrease occurs in the initial, initial dark blue intensity of the starch iodine complex. Class, dapat ano nga, uh, memorize nyo na. When you add starch and iodine together, the color is dark blue. Yan, dark blue. Pag, pag nag-add ka ng starch and iodine together. So, class, um, once you put amylase in the picture, eventually this dark blue intensity decreases or disappear. So, this is amyloclastic methods. We also have chromogenic. So, we're in. We use chromogenic dyes. And we have continuous monitoring, wherein we monitor the absorbance of NADH at 340 nanometers. So, class, other notes. So, what's good about amylase and also class lipase? It is stable in serum and urine for one week at ambient temperature. Yeah. So, class, gamitan naman natin yung ambient temperature. So, other term for room temperature. Yan. Para may nag-expand naman yung vocabulary natin. What else? RBCs have no amylase. So, hemolysis do not affect your amylase assay. But, class, diba, we still, we still, 
do not use hemo hemolyzed sample never again never unless the person is um suffering with uh, with hemolysis that are already caused by a condition but if it's um caused by excessive probing and other causes yeah of course we will not use Hemolyzed sample. Hemolysis is a cardinal sin. Sabi ng teacher ko. Next, heparin may inhibit amylase. Next class, citrate and EDTA binds calcium. So, no, no to citrate and EDTA. Class, amylase is inhibited also by triglycerides. So, if a person has high triglycerides, mahilig mag-rise, class, it can inhibit amylase. Yeah. Class, when we're processing your amylase, make sure that you have a mask on and you are not speaking. Yeah, because your amylase can increase about 700 times and because your amylase is higher in your saliva and class morphine and opiates yeah so patients who have who who are in pain and in need of pain of strong pain relievers like your morphine and opiates class apparently elevates your amylase yeah so next class is your lipases so your lipase class hydrolyzes the ester linkage of fat to produce alcohol and fatty acids. Yeah. So class, kung 1,4, alpha 1,4 sa um, amylase, dito naman is fatty acid residues at positions 1 and 3 of the triglyceride mo model. So mod model <laughs> molecule class found primarily in the pancreas. Therefore, it's more specific for acute pancreatitis. Yan. You know, class, your pancreatitis is, is thin, thin lang siya, um, like a paper bill. Paper bill yung ano niya, thickness ng pancreas. Dati hindi natin minapansin ng pancreas, pero class, bidal siya dito sa ambulase and lipase. So class, it contains hormones. Mga anong hormones? Pakireview nga, anong hormones ang ano ng pancreas? Isn't it that insulin, yan, pinaproduce ng beta cells in the islets of longer hands. Um, delta cells class produces soma somatostatin. Ayun. Enzymes, yun. Lipases, amylases. Galing, galing ng ano, pancreas. So, it's important in, um, in managing our glucose levels. It's important in breaking down fats. Yan, it's important in digestion. So, class for lipases, for acute pancreatitis, so 48 hours, it starts to increase, peaks at 24 hours, and remains elevated for 8 to 14 days. Yeah. So, class, mas maagang marker ang amylase, yeah, but it's non-specific. So, class, for the methods, yeah. so, class, I compared the methods um, in this discussion and in the module. Ganyan. So, class, ang i-discuss ko lang dito, yung mga nahanapan ko ng reference. Yeah. So, first off, we have Cherry and Crandall. Yeah. So, this is an already a historical method for lipase already. So, luma na to, guys. Pero luma rin kasi yung mga ano natin, eh, board examiner. Malay nyo, di ba? Banggitin nila. In class, um, sabi ni Bishop, this is a historically poor method. <laughs> Historical na nga, poor pa. Yan. So class, it uses olive oil as substrate. Yan. So it measures how much fat, fatty acid is liberated. So the products of your, ano, so once your amylase um, acts upon your olive oil, it will liberate fatty acids. Yan, tapos itatitrate mo. Yan. Triolene is now used as a substrate for a more pure form of triglyceride. So, olive oil or triolene. Yan, for cherry crandall. We also have, guys, turbidimetric method. So, here, it is a simpler and more rapid than your titrimetric methods. And it measures the rate of the clearing as an estimate of lipase activity. So, class, um, icterus, lipemia, and icterus meaning, class, um, yellowish. So, yellowish yung ano natin, yung serum natin. Lipemia, hemolysis, do not interfere with your turbidimetric method. Yan. Fourth, third one, ano ba? Third one na to. 
So, titrimetric method. So, the method of fatty acids released during hydrolysis is determined by direct titration with sodium hydroxide to a thymolphthalane endpoint. Class, itong titrimetric method. Class, alam kang tagal nyo nang hindi napasok sa laboratory. Pero, usually, sa general chemistry, ginagawa itong titration. Yan. Yung gumamit kayo ng kahaba-habang ano, mga... Um, tight for tubes for titration, nung ang kahaba-haba, tapos, di ba, yung may, i-open nyo pa yung bulb, tapos either may phenolphthalein doon, ganyan. So, class, ito, titrimetric, ginagamit rin sa lipase assay. In class, we have colorimetric method. So, according to Bishop, yan, some colorimetric methods use, utilize peroxidase and glycerol kinases, and we also have copper soap method. Yan. Copper soap method. Yan. So, class, um, so, this copper soap method, the absorbance is 715 nanometer. And, class, finally, we have the spectrophotometric method. So, it quantifies the level of paranitrophenol following the hydrolysis of um, paranitrophenyl laureate substrate by lipase. Parang sa ACP lang, class, yan. Paranitrophenol. So, for, before we go, yan, so, just like your amylase class, it's stable up to one week at amb ambient temperature. The optimal temperature class is actually high, 40 degrees Celsius, and the optimal pH is 8.8. .8. But some researchers say it's the range of 7 to 9, yan. So, class, thank you for watching, and this is the end of our first grading, and I'll see you again, class. Ingat kayo, ah. Happy studying. Bye-bye.